Yo, what up? Alright, what do we got here? Uh, corrosive Crystal Harvest. And we're going to also do um, King, it's called King Tossing. Which is uh, tossing the little fucking midget king out of his little cave. But first, we're going to go pick up some missions from Scooter. Because our little uh, claptrap friend that pops up in the screen every now and then told us Scooter had some missions for us. So let's go grab them from him and then be heading off. Show you where the, the Tetanus Warrens is. That's the name of the cave or whatever. It's not that far. There's usually, there's some cup, there's some enemies hanging out around here, but I don't even bother with them. I just run right past them. There's a lot of them scattered out through this uh this dump here. Well, I I only pay attention to them when they're uh when they're like in my way. <laughs> anyway, here's where the cave is. I think it's that's how it's called, Tetanus Warrens whatever but anyway I had to cut some out of this video this is at the beginning of the cave right here but I did have to cut five minutes altogether out of this video well about four minutes but whatever I didn't cut anything important out and I'll tell you when I cut the shit out most of it most of it what I cut out was um leaving the cave and going back to turn in the shit because this video was originally like 15 something minutes, now it's uh, 10 minutes, 21 seconds, something like that. So anyway, yeah, um, we've done this crystal harvest before in a different cave, so it's the same deal. Every time uh, you shoot them fucking blocks of crystal until they pop out, there's five crystals that pop out of each one, you gotta get 50. It's pretty straightforward. <coughs> And there's uh there's more than fifty crystals in this cave, so you're not gonna be uh you're not gonna have to really look around for any that are hidden or anything. And there is a clap trap in here with a that fucking um with a backpack SDU or whatever. It's backpack expansion gives you more fucking room in your shit, so that's always a good thing. And where the fuck is it? Oh yeah, it, the right to the left, right there was the um. Just so you know where it is when we get there, right to the left, right there is the clap trap, because I cut the video in between you know, up here in a second, and then we go straight to the clap trap. So so you guys aren't confused as where I, where I am in the cave, the the clap trap's to the left right now. He's right there. So that's where I'm at when I'm at the clap trap. So I don't like cutting the videos up and having people all confused and shit, but. I had to cut out a little bit of it, and the where, and what I cut out was pointless. So, anyway, enough about that. Fucking flaming spider ant burner, <laughs> badass spider ant burner. These are probably I fucking hate spider ants, man. They piss me off so bad because like when when they come at you, they don't just. Like, it ain't just one of them. They got fucking a big one and tons of their little kids. And they're so fucking annoying. And they're so fast and they're so fucking hard to kill. You end up getting f your fucking ass beat by them half the time. And, uh, it, yeah, if, you, uh, if you're thinking about picking up this game and haven't played it, and you like like what's going on and you want to buy it don't play it the way I'm playing it um <laughs> just go through take your time enjoy it don't just be trying to run through levels and kill everything I first time I played it I explored everything I I combed over every inch of the damn game when it saw everything and uh what you see in this playthrough is not everything in the game I do I'm doing all the missions every single mission I'm doing I'm doing all the side missions everything but you're not going to see the whole landscape. You're not going to see every little corner of the place. So, uh, yeah, go explore. Look around. Um, collect all the loot. That's that's actually what I did. I collected, like, every fucking piece of loot I could get my hands on the first uh, my first playthrough. And it was really fun. There's where I cut it. There's the claptrap. 
There's a little there's a little area back there with a with a weapons crate and some guys. So just so you know what I was going back there for. But anyway, I, um there is a repair kit in this cave and I will show you how to get there in a second. Just gotta fight my way back here. Uh, I think this cave this cave's kinda cool. It's not like a natural cave like underground or anything. This is a cave under a fucking um a dump. That's all it is, is like a fucking garbage dump. And there's this cave they dug out under it. It was kind of fucking badass. But like, if you look at the ceiling, it's just all trash. The walls are trash. The ground's trash. It's it's kind of sweet. Unrealistic, but kind of cool. <laughs> if you've ever been to a garbage dump before, it's not something you want to build a cave in. Because I've, uh, I've been there. I've... I, I used to be a garbage man, actually. I was a garbage man for like a year and a half, two years. I was a guy that rode on the back of the trucks and uh, threw the garbage in. And we'd have we'd go to the dump, you know, several times a day. Sometimes the incinerator, but usually, uh, well, usually the incinerator, but once in a while we'd go to the dump, a couple times a week at least. And I uh, had to drive the truck up on top of the pile of shit and open the back up, dump it all out. And that, sh that place is fucking nasty. It stinks. It is fucking disgusting, and there's, you know, what do you expect when you're dumping trash, right? And, uh, yeah, there would, uh, nobody would ever build a cave <laughs> under that shit. That would just be ridiculous. But, but this is a video game, right? This isn't real life shit. What am I rambling on about? But yeah, I just thought you guys liked to know that I was, used to be a garbage man. In fact, that is my favorite job I've ever had. Um, I didn't make the most money. Uh, I think I'll see. I was like 18, 19 when I was working there, and uh, I was only making like 10, 11 bucks an hour. I mean, it's decent for an 18 year old. That's pretty decent, but it, it was hard work. Uh, but I was outside all day. I didn't have a boss breathing down my neck. You know, I was outside chilling. I, I was, was fucking smoking weed in the garbage truck. It was a uh, it was a good old time. It was my favorite job by far. The most freedom I've ever had in the job ever. But, I mean, it sucked in the, in the winter. You're riding on the back of a truck in the winter. It's like fucking 20 degrees outside, fucking negative sometimes. It's freezing your ass off and wearing Carhartts and shit. You're fucking sick all winter. You're outside in the rain, snow, and when it's hot out. You know, it, it got, um, the job was nice, but it, it could be, uh, it could be, it could be bad. Like, man. In the summer, in the, in the hot, there's the there's a repair kit. That's how you get there, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, in the summer when it got real hot, it was shitty. In the winter, it was real shitty. When it was raining, it was real shitty. But but it was it was it was a good job. In fact, uh, I'd like to I'd actually like to go back and do it again. In fact, I might try to, since I'm unemployed currently. But yeah, I never drove the trucks. I was always the guy in the back. But I, that's actually the part of the job I liked. It was a lot of physical labor, a lot of um. A lot of heavy lifting, but uh, it got you in shape. It stayed in, kept in shape, and uh, after a long day's work, it felt good to to relax. But anyway, all right, here's uh, we got all our crystals. We got the repair kit. We're gonna go kick this little midget's ass right now, a uh, little midget king. And uh, I don't know what I was just standing there for waiting, but anyway, he's up in here, and he's he's pretty easy, so I really need to talk much about them and just shoot the shit out of them. Pretty easy to kill. Thinks he's all cool, whatever. Getting your ass kicked. King Wee Wee. Oh yeah. He drops a little shield. It's a piece of shit, you don't want it. And back here there's a weapons chest. Nothing special in it, I don't think. Nope. Shotguns. And I don't use shotguns with this character. Shotguns are pretty... Well, I've I got a couple good shotguns through this game, but in, generally, I don't like shotguns. Plus, I don't like playing with the Berserker, so whatever. I guess shotguns and r rocket launchers are good with the Berserker, but I, I just don't like them, man. I just don't... I, I don't like the Berserker anyway. I thought he was really boring to play with. Just running around grunting all the time. But some people like him. It's kind of cool because he punches shit, but I could really care less. 
Anyway, we're gonna turn the turn in the fucking repair kit, get our storage deck upgrade, and we're gonna magically tele teleport and turn this shit in because it's part of the video I cut out. So we'll turn the shit in and on to our next video, kids. I will see you there. Peace.